Okay, parenting style number three of Diana Baumrin's parenting styles is the neglectful parent. And sadly, this is probably the most damaging um, parenting style. And this is the parenting style that if a child was, um, you know, often taken from the family because of, uh, you know, poor parenting and, and care of the child, this is probably the parenting style that we're seeing um, is neglectfulness. Um, so th this one's a real, a real gut check. And remember, um, this one is both undemanding. They demand little from the child and also not supportive, unsupportive emotionally um, for the child. So this is, this is just, again, a real gut check problem because the child who grows up in this has neither support um, nor any sort of demands placed on the child. So um, th this is going to cause some really major issues um, for the child as they grow up. Um, and, and, and end up in foster care would be very common to end up in foster care if it had a parent like this. Okay, here we go. Um, what do we mean by neglectful? Well, um, the uninvolved parent makes little or no attempt to parent a child, often ignoring and neglecting them. Just ignore the child like they don't exist, Might, to the point of maybe not even feeding them. Okay, uh, so what's the saying here? Uh, authoritarian, because I said so, permissive, let's be friends, neglectful, you're on your own. And in some cases, even like toddlers, you know, I mean, five-year-olds, just things you wouldn't believe um, that that's neglectful parents. Neglectful. Um, do you care for your child's needs, emotional, physical, and otherwise? See, this is where, you know, I've had children I've taught in the past, and it was clear that their clothes had not been washed in maybe weeks. Um, and they smelled like they hadn't bathed or anything. And, and in high school, that's a big deal because like, you know, there's, there's a social uh, penalty really to pay for that. And that, that, that goes right back to the parent. Like what parent would, you know, send their child to school in clothes that hadn't been washed in a long time, or maybe the child is hungry and they have no food and they didn't search out help. Um, that, that's what we're talking about here. All right. Physical needs and, and emotional. Do you spend long periods of time away from home, leaving your child alone? And, and that happens to the children too. Like mom just disappears for the whole weekend. No one's around and you're eight or as an eight year old, um, they're taking care of the younger children. You know, the eight year old is getting food for the four and three year old, you know I mean? That sort of thing. Um, do, does the parent know the child's friends or teachers? Probably not. Um, and are you involved in your child's life outside of home? No. Matter of fact, you're not even really involved in your child's life inside the home. They're more of a nuisance and uh, and you show that you don't care in multiple ways. That's the neglectful parent. So let's just define this here in our chart so we know about the parenting styles. So uninvolved in child's life. You're on your own and they're uninvolved in the child's life. They really don't make any attempt to parent in any traditional sense of parenting often physical and emotional needs are not met physical and emotional needs are not met so clothing uh food maybe shelter but that'd be extreme um any sort of emotional connection or helping a child through something tough i mean they're, that's not going to happen here all right, they're going to have nothing. Uh, the child is left alone a lot. Like just, you know, and, and, and in some cases, just brutal, like leaving a five-year-old alone. I mean, just really, really, really sad, neglectful sort of thing. And then um, they don't know the child's friends. They don't know the child's teachers. Now, by the way, you're in high school probably. And so if your parent doesn't know the teachers, that's different. You're in high school, like, it, it's different when you don't know who your te your child's teacher is and they're in first grade or kindergarten. Like I've been to those type of meetings and like literally almost every parent is there except the most neglectful ones, right? But high school, it's not untypical to not know the teachers the, the teachers, just because frankly, um, you know, there's, there's so many of them. You, you might not know them, but it, it's really bad when they're young. It's really sad when they're young and you don't know who the teachers are and you don't know who your kid's friends are. You have no idea. You don't even care really. I mean, you know. Maybe the friends smoke dope and snort cocaine, but you don't know. Who cares? That's neglectful parenting. 
All right, last thing. Neglectful parenting is damaging to children because they have no trust foundation with their parents from uh, with their parents from which to w- explore the world. Beyond that, children who have a negative or absent relationship with their parent will have a harder time forming relationships with, relationships with other people, particularly children their age. So th- this is going to be a real problem. You're going to have trouble having relationships with people. Um, there's going to need to be um, counseling involved here uh, almost 100% of the time. And, um, and, and that's the key. So yeah, that's a neglectful child.